This is the continuation of our clownfish stories. Last time, I told you that anemones have toxins, and clownfish use this to their advantage. When they catch a prey, clownfish would swim onto the reef where they attract larger fish. And if the larger fish follow them, it will be stung by the anemone. Then the anemone eats the larger fish, leaving the remains for the clownfish. What a teamwork! Now all clownfish are born as males. When the dominant female of a group dies, the largest male will turn itself into a female, and this change cannot be reversed anymore. I hope you enjoy this anemone series, because that's all for now, and I hope to see you tomorrow.